you're searching for a new app for your rooted device? How about something that combines all the great root applications out there into one monstrous app with a beautiful and easy to use interface? Well, I got a solution for you guys. Ok guys, there is a simple solution for your trouble. Uh, there is an application called Room Toolbox Pro. Uh, there is actually two different versions of the application. There is a free one available to all of you and a paid one, just like this one. Uh, the application actually is created by a senior XDA developer as far as I know. And the uh, name of this guy is Jay Rummy. And you can easily uh, email him and this guy gives a uh, very 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 good support over the email so if you have any questions or problems with the program don't hesitate and email him right after you open the program you're gonna find out there is a three different tabs the first one is called tools performance is the second one and the third one is the interface tab on the two tab you're gonna find ROM manager an application manager root browser which actually is hands down the best file manager for Android out there. Then after this is the scripter, the terminal emulator, the DNS changer, an auto start manager, and up to SD. Up to SD is one of those applications for old Android, just like 2.2 and 2.1 and etc. Uh, those old Androids, Androids wasn't able to. Um, transfer application to internal memory of the phone to the external one and with this one you can easily do it without any any problem uh, problems at all on the second tab called performance we find CPU control with CPU control you can underclock or overclock your device and if you want to save some battery you can easily underclock the device then there is the kernel tweaks the build.prop editor Task Manager, we all know what Task Manager does, and the SD Card Booster. And uh, there is a description uh, right below on every single application, so you can easily find out what every application does. On the third uh, one, we have the Interface, the Interface tab. Uh, here you're gonna find the Font Installer. With the Font Installer, you can install install a new type of fonts on your device and replace those fonts uh, with uh, the stock uh, fonts and keep in mind that this program actually makes a backup to your uh, stock fonts and if you messed up something or, you, or uh, don't like the fonts you can switch back to the stock ones with, uh, uh, with this program uh, then we have the boot animations it's the same type of, uh, of things. Uh, the program makes a backup to your original boot animation and replace it with the ones on the on the uh, application. Then there is a lot of them, trust me. And then there is a team manager, status bar icon manager, team chosen. Uh, I have. Uh, I want to tell you something that uh, if you want to use those three things, you have to uh, have. Uh, Cyanogen mod installer, install it or something like that. Uh, every single custom ROM actually is uh, uh, is gonna do the job just fine. But do not use the stock uh, ROM for your device because actually stock ROM doesn't support those things like team manager and etc. But um, hmm, I might be wrong. But you can always try it, you know. You can always try it, and if you messed up something, you can always use the backup function to the uh, of the software. Uh, but if you do messed up something, don't blame me for that. Okay, guys, I think this is all about this application, and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like those video. Like the uh, click on the like button or a thumbs up button. I don't know what is it right now, or what is gonna be in the near future. So. Thank you for watching guys, see you on...